this is now turning into a bloody bath like my people why should anyone even think of harming an innocent young lady or an innocent young woman because i don't see the reason why anybody should connive and if if even if anybody has to um, do anything illegal, why does it have to be Daniela Edoche? So my people, it has it was really foreseen that Daniela would be attacked or be kidnapped because anytime I keep talking about Daniela, I keep talking about her safety because she is staying in that campus as long as it is still around the peripherals of Nigeria and Yol Edoche knows where she is schooling. <laughs> I know it is not going to be safe at all for her. It was so foreseeable that Daniela was to be attacked at her school. What was she thinking when she left the campus? It shows that she is not as wise as we all think she is. Even if Daniela, like Daniela should know what is really involved. But I think that Daniela, maybe she just think maybe the whole matter is now settled and she is now safe, not knowing that the, the, the praise, like the people that are attack her mother, that are after her mother are also after her. She feel maybe she is out of the picture, but no, in fact, she is the real deal. Why do I say Daniela is the real deal? Because Daniela is the next of kin to May Edoche's property, to May Edoche's acquisition. All that she took, or all that the um, courts gave her, that is the house, the property, the money, like I said, it belongs to both Daniela and Kambili Chuku, whereby Kambili was the first, um, first um, next of king and Daniela seconded it. Then after, when Yole Doche found out, because he didn't know it was both Daniela and Kambili, he was thinking it was only Kambili Chuku because that was what he was thinking. So that was how he decided to cajole Kambili, try to convince him to know if Kambili would accept him and turn, up, turn his back against his mother we all knew how the story went down because it was not an easy one at all but unfortunately it led to his death after he did not agree for yole doche to like to cajole him into all his manipulative talks it led to his death and when yole doche thought it was all over that was when mayor doche revealed to him that it was not just Kambili that was the next of king but also daniela was also next of king my people this was really really mad because yole doche did not know was not informed and mayor doche be why um you think it was only Kambili? was because before it all those properties the money were all jointly and based on it was joint accounts they all decided to put their next of king as Kambele Chuku who was their first son so when the whole matter started with Yore Doche and getting himself involved with Judy Austin Me Doche had to change it like it not really change it but adding Daniela into the whole picture that is why Daniela is now a target she is now a serious target for Yul Edoche and Judy Austin Daniela needs to stay within her campus space because even if it is not totally um, safe but at least it can guarantee her a reasonable amount of safety because remember the last time when Yole Doche went to visit his daughter Daniela <laughs> my people what was he doing what was he thinking when he took Judy Austin to um, Daniela's school what was he what was the whole um, idea what was the whole agenda all about now look at it, the resultant effect we are so thankful that nothing really happened to daniela at least the corporates we are um we have comprehended and they had to confess a lot of things and i'll be sharing it here on this platform my people there is nowhere on that campus that is safe. That is why I have always been of the opinion that Mayor Doche should like process the visas of her children and fly them out of the country. Like them being around Nigeria hmm, until Yol Edoche decides that okay, he is no longer interfering with anything that has to do with me, hmm, which is going to really take a long time. Yes, guys, a really, really long time because Yol Edoche has vowed that he would not stop until he takes everything that belongs to him according to what it is said so me doche really needs to 
tighten up her security. Look at the rate of um, attacks happening around her, both herself, her children, her shop, her business. Everything is just is just turning into something else. And we all know the person that is behind all this. Yes, guys, and I know you guys also know the people who are behind all these things. Those are the enemy of Queen May. Those pe- those, those are the people that don't want Queen May to um to ne- to never be happy. They don't want her to ever experience joy in her life and that is the reason why she has to be really really cautious imagine the other time she was almost kidnapped by a unknown government if not for the fact that she used her wisdom and people around that she was able to maneuver her way over those kidnappers that is why I encourage May Edoche to tighten up her security and she should show wisdom like she should very she should be very wise and very cautious. Now this is teach Daniela a lesson that she should not hover around. If possibly she should uh, May Edoche should assign bodyguards to protect Daniela. I know it is going to be in school, but at least or give instructions to the security in the school. I am restricting some persons because right now May Edoche has the right to restrict y'all edoche from seeing daniela or any of her children yes because the way it is now in court the children belong to me edoche but not you legally they don't belong to you edoche because they have been divorced and the custody of the children now goes to me edoche so she has the right to say anything she has the right to restrict anybody from coming to see her children at least until they are now safe and they can now decide for themselves May Edoche should really, really be careful around her children because Yule Edoche and Daniela, those persons, they are not going to stop until they figure out on how they are finally going to tarnish the image of Queen May. Until they are going to finally like sell off everything. They are going to take everything that she loves for herself. They are going to take it away from her. First it was Kambelichuku, now it is now Daniela. God, really, I pray. We will, we, I pray for this family that God, you, God is still going to strengthen them. That God is going to secure them and protect them because what she is passing through, she may Edoche needs to take her children out of Nigeria ASAP. Or if she maybe she wants to allow them school in Nigeria, it should be in a faraway university that Yul Edoche does not know anything about. But guys, it is going to be really difficult because there is no possible way that he, any of his children will be schooling in Nigeria, especially his daughter Daniela, and he would not know. That is why I am of the opinion that she should take her children out. Thank God for this US um, scholarship. What is even really delaying itself? May Edoche should really process the visa so far because right now I don't see anything that is withholding them or withholding her from taking her children or like relocating them out of nigeria because first of all she needs to look into the safety of her children before anything else because yule edoche is after her is after her children because he knows that if he can get me edoche if he can somehow demoralize her or try to make her traumatized then he will not go to court against me edoche and me would not be mentally fit to fight the battle maybe she will just get tired of the whole thing and decide to get Give Yole Doche the house, the money, and everything so that she can find rest. That is what Yole Doche is trying to do. He's trying to break me, Doche. He's trying every possible means to make sure that he breaks her. He makes her traumatized. He makes her like he demoralizes her in every aspect so that he can have a chance around her. Remember, this is a man that has been with me, Doche, for over 16 years. So he knows her in, her out. He knows how she feels, how she reacts, how she responds to different different things. And it could be that me Edoche does not work under pressure or she does not like being traumatized. So Yole Edoche wants to use that opportunity to get what he wants from me Edoche. Like I said, Yole Edoche is not concerned about his family. He's not concerned about his wife. He's not concerned about his children. He's only concerned about himself. All the selfish gain, all the material things he can get with from me Edoche. Just imagine he's still fighting over the house. Like me Edoche, if not for anything, she would have not even been dragging the house with 
Yo Ledoche. But the fact that she wants to keep it as a legacy for her children and also something that they will inherit. Like, okay, this is their family house. That is the reason why she is trying to preserve that. But at the same time, she should also look into the safety of her children and make sure that those children are not harmed in any possible ways. Me Edoche and Daniela really need to be safe because Danny now is one of Yul Edoche's main targets. But any guys, I will still be wanting you guys to drop your comments and your reaction down on the comment section. I'll be waiting for you there. Thank you and God bless. Have a nice day.